guys how are you doing welcome back to a brand new video my name's simon down here at burford golf club and i'm currently on the 12th hole here and we're going to do some testing of expensive versus cheap with the ping drivers guys if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button leave a like turn notifications on because when i get to 10k we're going to be doing a giveaway and yeah let's get straight into the video Okay, challenger to go first, reg flex shaft, ten and a half draw, it's all we had in the shop, but that is something to note when you are buying second hand, it's a bit of a lottery, you won't know if the head's right, you won't know if the shaft's right, especially if you're buying online, um, whereas when you pay the money, you're going to get fitted for free more than likely, or not a local pro shop, you're going to know the right shaft, the right heads for you, so it's whether the gamble pays off or doesn't, anyway, that is very similar makeup to this one to make it nice and fair, into off the left the wind is so my favorite kind of wind obviously okay let's see what this bad boy can do sounded great but it's just climbing so high 264 bit straighter down there than i thought it was um, going to be obviously on the monitor it's saying a bit more to the left let me grab a seat Let's have another day. Tiny bit healy, but again, finish back on target. 262, which you can't really grumble at. I mean, that is into wind slightly as well sound of it really good i do like the sound i'm not gonna lie i don't like the look of it but i love the sound so high that's coming down with snow on it two four six spin rate four thousand seven hundred arguably reg flex shaft however definitely in the future that we've had from manufacturers everything's been lower spin rate so i'll be impressed with the same makeup if that spins less than this does Okay, Ping G400, SFT, similar to that head shape. Loft the same, shaft as close as I could get it as well. So what we're looking for is forgiveness, potentially more distance in a windy condition as well, really. So let's have a look, let's see what we can produce. Now for me, that is long. Pulled it a bit on here, but I mean, I'm kind of perfect down this hole, I'm not going to lie. I know it's got a bit left, but down to this hole, that kind of works. But that could understand, spin rate is definitely lower. Let me see if I put one more down the middle, where the GT quad's over. Okay, the spin rate still quite high. Again, you can see that shaft being quite important when getting fitted for a driver and not really going that much further. Arguably, I prefer the sound on the G10. I love the looks of the G400. Right, next one. See, that's perfect. Now that's saying it went long. So that was perfect in my eyes. Three seven again, spin rate quite high. Right, let's get into the recap. Okay, I'll put some numbers here so you can see exactly what I'm seeing on my iPad. Uh, and yeah, let's get straight into it. So, number one, I think the GC4, G400 definitely wins on aesthetics. Sound wise, I preferred the G10, interestingly enough. Now let's look at the data. 
both have brake flex shafts and it's probably important to say so important to get fitted for something so it's right if you're beginning don't necessarily worry about it as much if you've been playing a while you're into your game getting fitted even getting fitted for something second hand if your shop has it and you can get fitted go and get at least see the data anyway i'm talking too much so in terms of total distance g400 one let's say it went further there's no question about it and actually the ball flight was a lot more penetrating compared to the um the g10 a lot more you could just see it climb like an airplane so the carry distance on both of them were very similar however i think g400 total distance is always going to be further because of the angle that is coming down here in the ground especially in windy conditions that being said ball speed between the two were pretty much the same 164 for the g10 166 for the g400 obviously there was a few higher ones so there's 168 for the g400 not too dissimilar the spin rate was massive though spin rate in terms on average was a lot higher with the g10 and that's what killed it for me on this round however 50 quid driver 360 quid driver we're not talking much and i think if you had the right hand so if this was for someone that had a swing speed of about 90 miles an hour this rake flex driver would be a very interesting test of the comparison of the boat possibly too flexible for me to give a proper answer but you can see the numbers there the difference between the two of them g400 definitely one but is 300 pounds more expensive it's only up to you guys if you think it would be worth it or not having it in your hands or not guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up as always please subscribe catch you guys there